Greetings Fortnite Champion fans, I'm Pemby66 and welcome to my gaming channel. Here we have a heavyweight matchup with County Cook against myself, who is Chuck Liddell. Look at the, the size of this guy, 6 foot 8. I thought, left right, left right, no, look, three, left right, to the body, left right, to the body. I'm just going about my business, getting another win, getting another cheesy win. I just had this fight, I mean, the one I've just posted against the uh, guy with the Bane mask on. <laughs> and what a cheesy dickwad he was. And I thought, not again, not again. Is this all this game's got to offer me? Bloody cheesy spammers that get a win no matter what. I mean, look at the size of him. Six foot eight. And he's just doing straights to the body all the time. And you can see I'm trying to counter him. Don't just stand there toe to toe so much because my boxer just doesn't got the power. I mean, this was on the same night I fought the uh, fucking the chicken guy. Fucking flapping his arms like he's trying to fly. This guy's just basically trying to uh, wear my body down. And you ask yourself, is this somebody who knows how to use the skill that's available in this game because it is a boxing simulation but the, the flaw one major flaw of the game is that you can you know you can exploit certain tactics and i'm not i'm just not it's not in my nature to because basically it's cheating yeah it's not in my nature i mean I, I like this game looks so spectacular when two fighters going head to head, you know, counter punching, moving, showing good movement, good, good blocking, good counter punching, good good offense, good defense, you know, all that lovely stuff that's great to watch. And that's what I'm striving to try to do because if I was a spammer, I'd get slagged off left, right, and center, and. and you know, my channel would not grow over. You know, if the majority of videos were fight that champion. It just would not grow. I'm trying to grow this channel. This is the the main thing that I, that I'm posting on my channel. As you as you probably notice if you've arrived at my channel by recommendation or accident, whatever. I'm a big Battlefield 3 fan, but as I said before, but posting that is not really good idea because there's so many there's thousands of battlefield 3 channels out there montages gameplays reviews you name it same with call of duty and look at his tactics from this guy you big fat bastard <laughs> dum de dum dum jab 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 straight 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 you'll soon be gone you'll soon be gone well, hang on, is he hitting me on the chin? Yeah, I better well be careful. Let's carry on. Bang, bang. Jab, jab. Jab, jab. Jab straight. Jab straight. I know the fact that he's catching me on the chin quite a lot. But I'll keep going. Jab, jab. Straight, straight. Now try some hooks. Yeah. I'm getting somewhere. Let's hook the bastard. Let's keep hooking his body. Oh. That was that one in the script. <laughs> Get fucking down. You're spamming, yeah. No more than you deserve, you big fat bastard. <laughs> unbelievable, these guys, aren't they? Absolutely unbelievable. I just can't get over how, how some people think it's all right to just play the game this way. You know, it's sad. But uh, let me know what you think of my my characterization of Chuck Liddell, legendary Iceman himself from the UFC. <coughs> Excuse me. I was very sad when he, Rashad Evans one-punched him and knocked him out. I was sad when, uh, what's he called? The, uh, oh, what's he called? Yeah, Rampage Jackson. He beat him as well. I think he's had a few other losses that... Uh, Sad, really, because I, th I think he got quite old and he, he should have retired. It's one of them, one of them where he's fought on too long, I think. But 
but fair play to him for the, 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 beat, the beatings he, he laid out, out to uh, Randy Couture and Tito Ortiz. You know, they were legends of the game. Anyway, this time he's trying his hand at boxing, see if he does any better. <laughs> Uh, check out my buddy's, uh, my gaming buddy Lloyd, Rhythm Works, Rhythm Works I mean, he's, uh, his gaming channel, he's doing a very good boxing, Fight Night Champion boxing series called The Big Up Series, and he interviews people who, like myself, who were, you know, probably new to the community, even though but played the game since day one, um, he's recently interviewed someone called DG Easy, and Rhythm works. If, if you ask anybody who's well up in the Fight Night community, old and new, they'll have heard of Rhythm Works and they've got respect for him because he's a very good boxer. And uh, he's doing these interviews. And uh, anyway, we'll check his ca channel out and uh, send him a message if you want your views to be broadcast and exposure for your, t your channel. Plus, it's exposure for his. And. Uh, because I'm doing all this, I want exposure as well, you know. But, uh, it's, it's getting stronger by the day, this community. But, like Rhythmworks says, we're dealing with a two years old game here. So, the online support, you, you, you never know, they're going to bleed and just pull the plug without saying anything. But anyway, on with this fight. It's round four now. I've run all three rounds. And his cheesy tactics are not working. So let's see what he can do about it. Now he's switched it up a bit. Trying to throw hooks to the body as well as, as straights. But I've, I've got no option but to move round. And try and counter him. All I wish for with Chuck Liddell in this OWC is when, you know, his, his level's quite low at the moment, so I think I could do quite well out with him once I build his XP up a little bit. But I've still got to um, <laughs> stop wasting punches. Look at that. But a lot of the time I find when I'm doing that, it's, it's the, the, kind of the box is not totally obeying my joypad commands. You know, I'm trying to rush him forward while doing that, not just stand still throwing punches in midair when the fighter's nowhere near him. I'm sure you can understand what I'm saying. But I mean, I suppose in a way he has to fight the way he does because that's how he's set his boxer up. But wouldn't you just rather have a, a heavyweight that's around about 6 foot six to 6'2"? Six Built like a British shit house, and have all the tools. You know, have a lethal left hook, have a uh, a lethal jab, a lethal a lethal uppercut to the body. You know, and just use your skills to get through. Reflexes, skills. None of this bullshit where they, you know they're doing anything to win. Like I said in the last video, how the fuck can you get derived satisfaction from jab, 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 straight, jab, straight, jab, straight, jab, straight. I'm a chicken, I'm a chicken. How the fuck can you get away with doing that? Well, you, they do get away with it, obviously. But um, I know I'm, I know I'm going to start to get to him now. And th This guy was quite a few levels above me. But it just goes to show that a lot of guys are not those many levels above you because of skill. It's because of exploitation. Pure exploitation. And uh, I'm really enjoying this um, interaction with other Fight Night Champion enthusiasts. Rhythm Works, Dave DeRitwan, Fight Night's Finest, Sakuruma. So, sorry, Sakuru, Sakuruba, 1982. Jesus, why don't you just call yourself uh, Dave or something? <laughs> sorry. Um, 
Uh, Duck Dozer. Uh, Relapse. Faulty 400. Uh, who have I missed out? Who have I missed out? I really don't want to miss anybody out. There's HD. I think it's HD Gaming. He's just subscribed to me, which I appreciate. He's a very capable boxer. And uh, check his channel out. And um, yeah. If I missed anyone anybody out, I do apologise. Look at that for an uppercut. Get fucked. Get fucking down. <laughs> you big fat clown. That was a very satisfying. That was a lunging left uppercut that I caught him with. Oh my god. I mean, I saw Doc Dosa fight a guy the other, the other day. The guy was 32 and 0. And it, Doc was giving him tremendous respect, but too much respect. I could tell straight away that the guy he fought had got his 32 and 0 by being a cheesy left and right spammer. And uh, there was a point I noticed in the video where it, it, Doc could have really, really, you know really finished him off the fellow was like inviting him on to, to come on come and get me you know just so he could spam his cheesy tactics but doc was winning the fight by a mile so you know it would have been nice to just uh see him finish it because i think he could have done but no disrespect from what i'm saying it's just uh Anyway, where was I? And I can sense blood here. I'm I'm close to. Uh, I mean, I can't remember this round or the next round. He, um, you know, he wins the round. But it's just it's down to his cheesy tactics and m my lack of uh, skill and timing. What are you doing? What are you doing? Because it's very realistic this game. Look at his, his flab shake in his back when when he throws a punch. You know, I used to think this game's graphics were basic, but not. You record this game with the Roxio and it's 1080i. It, that's how the game is broadcast from the computer from the PS3. As I've explained before, some videos ex broadcast the game in 720 only. So you can you look look at the fine detail in the boxes. There's plenty there. See, he's really really trying to finish me off, and this is probably what he's had a lot of success with with other fighters. But I think I just had a little bit too much guile for him here. A bit too much, uh, a bit too much uh, experience in dealing with this kind of fighter I mean most times I don't deal with it very well but this time I did this time I haven't been doing so far such wood round 7 see I'm, I'm one of them guys I'm, I'm a def I can be defensive but when I when I sense I've you know I'm getting to the guy, I'll 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 be all over him. That's what I mean by mixing it up. You can be defensive, and you can choose the right moment to uh, be offensive. Yeah, and I'm not talking about verbally. <laughs> I can be, <laughs> but uh, only jokingly. Look at it, it's like two, two battling gladiators. Skill just goes totally out the window and you, you're you basically fighting this kind of fighter. You're just constantly trying to eat your body away like this. You're not using combinations, he's nearly getting to me here. 
He's not using combinations, he's just using, well, exploiting how the game is programmed, basically. It's human nature, isn't it? For a lot of people to fight the way this guy's fighting. Six foot bloody eight, come on. Six foot foot eight and can punch as fast as a lightweight. <laughs> Bullshit. See, if I was I had a taller fighter, then I, I would have beat him by now with a taller fighter. See, I'm looking absolutely fucked. Absolutely, because I know that's. Uh, Look, he's won that round, but he must have seen that score as well and thought, yes, I'll knock him out. I'll knock him, wear him down and knock him out in the end. He might be winning on points, but I'll knock him out, no problem. No problemo. Fuck off. Not when I've got tools like that. Get down. Let's <laughs> get him. Don't hit me. <laughs> Oh. Don't you just love it? To see a spammer go down and he's looking at the canvas. He's sniffing your testicles on the way down. <laughs> but he's got no he's got no choice in that matter. But anyway, this was a, a fine kind of revenge match for me, this. You know, change your mate. Learn to learn to play the game properly. Not that not I'm I'm no expert, but that's what I try to do. I hope you enjoyed that. This is Penby66 signing off. Catch you later.